I don't know what else I can do to prove my innocence, and it's just been literal agony. Cheyenne Benthin's world unraveled one night last July, the night she lost her toddler, Heston. He loved to give hugs, he loved affection, he, he loved to hold hands. Cheyenne says she put him to bed just like any other night. There was nothing out of the ordinary. About midnight, I woke up to use the restroom and turn the thermostat down. I checked on Heston, he was face down, and when I touched his leg, I felt how cold it was. And I immediately turned him over and he was purple and blue, not breathing, not there. He was not my son. First responders pronounced Heston dead at the scene. And while Cheyenne was beginning to process what just happened, another nightmare began. Did you sense at any time right after this that the investigators were looking at you as potentially the reason your son died? Yes, definitely. My fiance, fiance and I were interrogated for five hours separately. Did she ask you? Did you kill your son? Yes. She and her partner. She said that someone would be going to prison over this. Within days, Cheyenne lost custody of her four-year-old daughter. The girl's father, who was not the primary caretaker, filed an emergency motion in family court. The judge wrote, father testified that the investigating detective told him that the autopsy showed that the child's sibling had a significant amount of bruising on him. I essentially lost my daughter as well, the same weekend. Accused of murdering her son and her time with her daughter reduced to just two hours of supervised visitation every other week. Finally, in October, the Maricopa County Medical Examiner released the autopsy report. It states cause of death, probable febrile seizure in the setting of acute respiratory viral illness. Manner of death, natural. He essentially had the flu and he had a seizure due to his fever spiking. The report goes on to state it should be noted that law enforcement had significant concern for foul play early in the investigation of this death. But Heston had no injuries suggestive of ongoing abuse or of being battered. No findings in this case are suggestive of foul play. Did you expect at that point that the police were going to say, okay, we're closing this case? Yeah, I, I anticipated that this would be done. It was everything, all, the answer everybody was looking for of what happened. What was the reality of what happened? I still don't have my daughter. They, this case is not closed. Eight months after baby Heston's death, despite the medical examiner's report, Gilbert police tell us the investigation is ongoing. What's the holdup? We're not sure what the holdup is. Jessica Hernandez is Cheyenne's attorney. She says the family court judge refuses to revisit custody of the daughter until Gilbert police close the case. The family court has set up what seems to me an, a standard that we just can't meet. Gilbert police did not answer any of our specific questions about this investigation or when it would wrap up. But in the time since the medical examiner's report was released, a different situation involving children and violence made headlines and used considerable resources from Gilbert police over the past six months. We found the detective who was investigating baby Heston's case was pulled into the Gilbert Goons investigation. Has that resulted in any other cases falling by the wayside or not being closed out as quickly as you would like? Obviously, as you have an influx of different cases, it does create an impact on your department, but not at the uh, sake of another case. It's not untypical for a detective to have 10 to 15 cases at any time that they're constantly working. Last month, Cheyenne filed a notice of claim against the town of Gilbert, accusing the police department of interfering with her relationship with her daughter and conducting an unlawful criminal investigation without basis. Cheyenne's a victim in this case. Um, her daughter is a victim in this case. Has this been enough time for investigators to reasonably do what they need to do to close this case? Absolutely. They had the information they needed to close this case back in October.